Hi guys, welcome back to Dolara Studios. We're going to be talking about Android constraint layouts. Imagine if you have a kind of complex layout you want to design uh, and you need to actually nest it deep into uh, complex uh, uh, relative layouts, linear layouts, you marked, you know, all fused in together that could actually amper performance of your app. So you should use the Android constraint layout to solve this. Uh, let's create something of this nature. Uh, we'll be doing that right now. Uh, and we're going to be using the constraint layout to achieve this. So I'm going to start up like this, back to Android Studio. I have just my constraint layout set up and I'm going to collapse the project so that I'm going to have uh, the, the code and uh, the, the design view alongside each other. I might as well only have the design view so I could have a lot of space to work with. I have my Pali, the Compo tree, and the canvas itself. So let's start up by bringing in our image. I'll bring that in, and that's going to serve as the banner over there. I kind of drag it up. Okay, it's quite big in terms of height. All right, I'm going to give it a kind of fix. Let me give it a match parent of width and of height, I'll give it a 250 dp. And that'll be fine. Oh, cool. So I want it right at the top. And I'll give it a kind of scale type of center crop. So it's going to spread out. And I'm going to give a constraint to the left, 0 dp, to the top of the parent. And it is at, at 0. Please. And to the right as well, 0 dp. I'm fine. Now I'm going to introduce uh, the image view, which is going to be uh, the camera right sitting on top of uh, the bottom right corner. I'll bring that in as well. That is going to actually sit somewhere here with the grid line by the right. Now I'm going to give this a little bit uh, kind of fixed width and height. Uh, let's give it 80 dp. 80 dp. I think that's fine. So I'm going to align it again just like what we had. Alright. Now I'm going to give a constraint to the left. Constraint to the top and constraint to the far button. Now I'm still going to give a constraint to the right as well. Now I'm going to centralize it just the way I want it. At the grid line. Fine. So a peep at the image again. Okay. Uh, I have the dollar and text with uh, the message vector. So I have that vector asset which I'll be bringing in into the image view. Now the image view here, the dollar, I bring that in. Okay. I pick it up again. I need to click it, I need to click in. Or let me expand it a little bit. Because it's kind of small, that's why. So I want it somewhere. Yeah. I think somewhere here will be cool. And, um, it's kind of small and it's not having uh, a kind of unique space. Let me give it 40 dp. Let me try it without with 40 dp. The same thing goes for the height 40 dp. I think, I think it's cool. We could get to adjust later on. Uh, that's fine. So I'm going to give a constraint to the left. And at the top, oh, I'm still going to fix it up in the right size I want it. And I give the constraint to the top over there. So I drag it back and let it place just beside the grid line. I think this will be cool. Now, I need to introduce the text view. Two of it first over here. So what text um, will it carry? Uh, it should, it could say, let me give it a number so I could give 
our our code presently you could use the rest we get to do that immediately we finish all this 650 that's like a phone number 555 hyphen 12457 that's okay drag it down I need it somewhere here now I need another text view I won't uh, add a constraint now I'm gonna do that when I have the second text view uh, this is also going to have something over there I could call it Google voice voice all right I'm gonna drag that as well let us let it align let it get closed over there now I'm going to order my command key now and select the top right click and chain vertical create a vertical chain all right don't let that bother you create that constraint to the top of the dollar and this constraint down to the bottom of the dialer now you have this setup you could see it right aligned just the way you want it and uh, we have the third item, which is actually going to be somewhere uh, at the far right. So I'm going to bring in another image view. Now, uh, I need to constrain to the left, constrain to the left. So I still need to drag, so I can drag around. To be the exact point let me see if it's right in the exact point yes it is so once i take this up it follows along can you see that so i think i'm fine here all right that's just the way to do you could say all components are moving at once because i've actually uh, uh glued them together i actually use a chain for the text and constrain that to the dollar shape so that's actually going to sit uh, alongside each other now I need uh, another image view bring that in drag that under which is like a message over there click on that should be somewhere on top drag that down okay let it maintain and let it stay right there along the grid so I'm actually going to constrain that as well uh, I might be constrained. Let me. All right. Let me pick it one more time now. Oh, take it back. Let me let me let me redo that. All right. So I pick my constraint. Oh, it's kind of. Think is not selecting that. Let me see. Okay. Whoa. It's kind of jumping around. Okay. Let me see again. Let me be so sure. All right, now. Okay, now I drag it back. So it constraints to the left. So I could be able to drag it anywhere I want it. All right. So we are fine. Let me pick it again. Sometimes it happens like that. You just need to be patient. Yes, exactly. As we want it. 
it's kind of let me expand this when you see things like this try to expand it to have more space to work with i think that's what cost it uh -huh. i need it aligned we are good to go now we're fine so i'm going to actually create another text view that comes underneath the image and uh, this time we're going to have similar phone number just to depict let's say 670 this time uh 444 hyphen 781234 all right now let me see it let me kind of reduce this i think i'm fine with it bring it down again all right the system you know constantly actually takes a lot of uh resources so just be patient while doing that uh let me be a little bit patient with the system Depends on how fast your system could be right so i need to to drag and align this I need to align it well okay now i need to bring another text view so let me reduce this a little bit uh, this time we're going to have mobile okay i'm gonna drag that in So, it's actually going to the constraint top, drag it back, drag it back, and this create a space for it because uh, it's kind of stuttering. Just be patient with, with what you do, you constrain that as well. So now you could now place it as you want it. You could drag and place it just the way you want it. Right, that's the way we want it. You could bring you could you could also use this. It or let's say those two at the top is going to bring it closely. Now you are good to go with this bring it to the grid so that it's going to align with and bring this as well to the grid so it's going to align as well oh it's torturing but you're going to still get it done okay all right now you need to constrain that to the top as well don't worry you need to now still drag it Okay, and it let's, we could close this. We close this away. Or you could undo that it's kind of stuttering
So I delete that away. That should be over there. Okay, fine. Stuttering, stuttering so bad. Okay, same thing. This should go for for this. Now you could drag it exactly how you want it. We'll get to revisit this later on. So that we're going to kind of align it together so let's get to quickly finish up we have one more now let's pick up the view we find out the widget view bring that in okay uh, now we're going to give it an height of 20 dp. All right, that's it over there. So I'll drag it. Okay. Okay. This is too too wide. Ten to ten is okay, and we could give it the width of. 250 as well so that makes it a little bit short and you could drag it I think it's too much Now we constrain that to the left. We constrain that to the right. You could still drag to fit, and you cannot constrain that to the value of this. So you could drag it down a little bit. All right, and you could fill. Let's fill. Let's fill background. Set the background. Give it kind of gray. All right, that's cool. So we're fine with that. Now we could finish up. With the last which is another one and uh, i'm going to bring in another image view to sit here and this time it's going to be this so it's going to sit at the top let me try to reduce this 
basically it might not be that perfect but that's just how to go when it comes to constraint layout yeah for some reason my 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 system is torturing so not having the smoothest uh, kind of experience but we are good to go now look at uh, the we have 48 so we could get, also give this 48 48 TP 48 TP okay now we're going to have a replica of what we did which is also now it's going to be studio at android.com to just work so let's quickly do that and wrap up the video that's going to be a text view that will be underneath the image Text is underneath the image. Let me try to create more space over here. Okay. Now I need to constrain the image. Definitely. It's somewhere here. Drag it back again. I could do that here. Constraint to the left, yeah. Okay, let me do it manually. It's already constrained to the left. Nice, fine. The image is constrained already. Let me drag it up a little bit. That's too much. Too much little bit fine now pick up my text view is that the grid line not this yes this all right the same thing we did now we could say Give it text for you at gmail.com. I'm going to bring in another text view to wrap it up. So we could still have to adjust, you know, uh, just because of our stuttering. Now we'll have that as work. So I could give it text of work. Same bring that no, let us let it align just that's where it gets to start. Okay, no problem. Fix that. Okay, click that, do a vertical chain, same thing you did, exactly the same thing, and now I think you still do this. Do that. Bring it back. I think the only challenge with my system that 
it's actually not making it align just like the way we want it but other things are fine we also do that do that to bring it back okay so that's it so we i could only work on the alignment all right just this let's try to align it as well no that's the way it's aligned over there well let me take away this Need that align it. You can have you can also align down there as well and bring it back and bring it back. So it's like most you can align it different ways you want it. Okay, now I'm fine. This one we could reduce it. I think the height is way much 5 dp. All right, so we're good to go. At last, we achieve some the similar. So we need to bring in uh, this I the same icon we had there, unless I forget, which is actually an image view. Come on. Image view, I think I could bring that any any anyhow. Same the same thing. Alright, bring that in as well. Okay. So All right. Okay. And now to the left. All right. We could also bring it to the right the grid line now centralized no that's too much let me expand this all right not as much need you need you Thing somewhere. No. Mm -hmm. It's kind of. Going a little bit. Okay, let me close this. All right. Okay. So I could resize this. I think it's a little bit big. Night of twenty four DP. Yeah, 24 deep. I think that's fine. All right, so I could now still bring it a little bit down. All right, 
So fine, uh, we've been able to achieve something good here. Yeah? Over here, I think I could align it so well with uh, that particular icon we have on top. Yeah, I think we've been able to, to achieve something good here. Yeah? So uh, I'll try to run this on my emulator and see. It's, it's, it's um, a bunch lot. Just pardon me for the stuttering I have due to my PC uh, trying to drag a little bit. But all the same, we're still able to achieve something good. Do this. Let's, let's see what's going on. Wow. So that's it. That's it using uh, the constraint layout. Uh, you could see all the layout files, you see everything over there, and it's actually going to work as expected. That's just it. Uh, so, thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this video. Uh, thank you for standing by up to this time. Uh, you're doing well, you're doing great. Hi, guys, 